Welcome back to the final word on CNN Philippines. I'm Rico Hizon. Well, it is going to be an evening of perfect harmony in the Bayanihan Musikahan special happening this Sunday night. Big names in the music industry are lending their voices to uplift our spirits and raise funds for those affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. We hear more about this initiative from no less than Lea Salonga, Martin Rivera, and Gary Valenciano, who join us now live on The Final Word. Lea, Martin, Gary, welcome Hi. to all of you. Hey, Rico. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, everybody. <laughs> So, Leia, let me yeah. start off with you. I mean, over the past few weeks, we've been through this digital Bayanihan musical spirit. It has mm -hmm. uplifted the spirits of Filipinos everywhere, raised funds, and has uh, changed the way we experience uh, uh, live performances, even while at home. How does it feel? Okay. Uh, how does it feel? I think it's a multi-layered question because I think this is uncharted territory for many of us. I mean, it's not new for an artist to stream stuff on YouTube, Facebook Live. I mean, that's not new per se, but for a lot of us that, there's a bunch of us that aren't really tech savvy. And I, I think the Bayanihan Musikahan itself experienced its share of <laughs> technical difficulties. Um, but, but still, the, even all of that lent a really sweet charm to the whole experience. Um, and I think it's, it's the, the feeling is like, at, at least we're trying to do something. At least we're in one way, shape, or form mm. offering our hearts, offering community spirit, and, and hopefully helping people get through this. Um, some of us live stream Martin Yavera more than others, doing it on a almost daily <laughs> basis. That, that's serious. But the, but the cool thing about it is it's, it's, he's not doing it for charity. He's not doing it for, for revenue. It's all just to keep people company. And it's, it sometimes gets people stir crazy to be at home and some people are at home by themselves. So to have his voice just kind of, kind of being mm. as, as if you're not in your house all by yourself. I mean, he has energy for just for everybody. <laughs> So it's, it's, it's been really, really sweet. I, I end up either knitting or crocheting with his voice in the background. And it's, it's, it's just been really sweet. I think for all of us that experienced the whole Bayanihan uh, Musikahan thing, I think all of us en ended up in like doing something we've never done before. Um, but at the same time, we That's felt true. many That's of us true. felt yes. so fulfilled that we got to do something and still yes. do what it is we love to do, which is to entertain people and to perform. Martin, yeah, indeed, uh, every night I watch you after uh, the final word and you really keep me uh, company with your beautiful music. How does it feel, though, uh, keeping, uh, uh, I mean, getting, coming together with other artists uh, to support various causes, including this COVID-19 health crisis, inspiring and comforting many people and paying it forward from home? Well, it's a beautiful feeling, uh, Rico. It's a beautiful feeling because the artists have come together. It was Ryan Kaibiab who thought of this up, thought of this whole thing. They started out with four people. Now, with all the artists, we're about three hundred artists mm. involved with Bayani and Mustikan, and we're all with the same purpose, and that's to try and raise awareness and more than anything, inspire people to give them hope, and then as well with the donate button to ask as many donations as they can possibly give. We've already made 67 million pesos, and we are now partnering with ABS-CBN with their joint projects with Bayani and Musikan, and with all the artists I mentioned, or I couldn't mention them all, but with all the artists together with their talents, they feel, because we feel so helpless, Rico, we, we want to do something, and now we have a, a, yeah. a platform to be able to do this, to help feed people, give them medication, tents for makeshift hospitals. This is what we're all about. And, and, and it's so nice that all the artists have come together to, and united for this one cause. United uh, in one cause uh, this coming uh, Sunday. Uh, and this uh, virtual concert is entitled Ta Umbayan to the Rescue, uh, Gary V. And you also had your very successful uh, two-day digital concert entitled Hopeful. And during these uh, trying times, uh, Gary, uh, the frontliners, patients, survivors are continuing to motivate you to give back through song. Yeah. You know, um, 
Um, I, I, I love quoting what, I was, uh, what was shared to me by uh, Jose Marichan, where he said that music is really the language of the soul. Mm -hmm. So when you meet people, especially with what uh, Leia said earlier, when we do things like this, we're not, we may be performing for millions, but to the person who's alone at home, it's really a one-on-one -on -one experience mm -hmm. where you share and try and meet people at the point of their need. And the great thing about this is that every concert that's been done, um, every fundraiser, uh, it gets people involved. They may not be singing in front of the camera or in front of the microphone, but they're really blessing people who they don't even know. But um, I, I think that somehow there's a much bigger picture than what's actually going on now, the way people have reacted, the way people have responded, and especially to the frontliners. Because I personally have friends who are in the front lines now, both here and abroad. I've received messages on Instagram, personal messages mm -hmm. from frontliners and, and, and the plight that they have, no? the, 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 the side of them that is so human uh, comes out and is revealed that they, they, they do want to go home to their families. They do want to be with their husbands and, or their wives. They do want to, they're, they're hoping that this whole thing is over and done with. But nobody knows. So if I or us, if we can somehow manage to meet them at that point of uncertainty, at that point of anxiety, at that point of of fear, and and replace that with a, you know, with inject them with faith instead, then I, I think that somehow the artists are are doing that in a very impactful way. And I want to ask the three of you, everyone's talking about this new normal, Leia, Martin, uh, Gary, in the aviation industry, in, uh, in retail, in food. What about uh, the music industry? What do you think will be the new normal post-COVID-19? Leia, let me start off with you. Will only half of stadiums' capacities be filled up due to social distancing? Uh, will there be uh, more online concerts, not for free anymore? but there will be a uniform online ticket price, you think? Mm. Um, I think there are people that are already able to kind of... There are people who are already figuring it out. I mean, I had one friend who did a concert from his musical director's living room, and they were charging for tickets. So mm -hmm. I think it is possible. It may, mm. it, maybe it's not a new normal per se, but it might be something that's added to the field. I mean, a lot of us, I think, are still hoping that we get to perform live in the way that we've really grown accustomed to doing it because, I mean, that's been our, that's been the way that we've done it for the entirety of our careers. Correct. And I, I don't think any yes. of us <laughs> yes. want that necessarily replaced, um, but maybe, you know, online concerts for revenue especially for those, especially for freelancers who, who go from paycheck to paycheck, they might actually find this, the online concert to be a platform. It'll make access to them and their talent as well as their own access to audiences. That might, it might be a little easier. Um, it's, it's one of those, I, I do want to get back to performing normally, you know, when you have an, a venue full of people and, you get dressed up in something nice and you're you're entertaining and there's a there it's just one of those things that it's it's ah, you know it's i mean not just yes martin's doing a whole visual demonstration <laughs> you know where it's it's not so much about the adulation but it's 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 a communication that can only happen between the performers mm -hmm. and an audience in in that kind of um in that kind of situation where you have an right an audience in front of you and then you have the performers on stage i'm i'm thinking maybe they can figure mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. how to fulfill the social distancing requirements uh while doing it what it is we do live on a stage maybe people will have to seat like two rows apart and two seats apart and say soler araneta or whatever mm -hmm. and it, right. it might mean only part of yes, the capacity there. being filled so it's it's i don't know what the new normal quote unquote is actually going to be like <laughs> it's i think it's it's territory that's uncharted so, and i think it's it's something that everyone's going to have to patiently try to figure out what about you martin and then after martin gary what do you think of this new normal after uh, post uh, covid 19 martin uh, i don't know what 
I don't know what's going to happen after. I, 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 I'm see Leia. I think Leia has a great point. It may end up becoming that way. But the new normal now, uh, Rico, is all of us. This is the motivation behind every artist. We're performing in front of a laptop, uh, an iPhone, mm. an iPad, and it, there's no, there's no uh, interaction. But the new motivation now is we're trying to make a difference. We're trying to spread happiness, good vibes, maybe raise some money, change some lives. We're trying to contribute and to the solution and to the to the for, for all the souls who are there just watching us during a quarantine time so the new norm for me is the motivation has changed there's no more applause there's no screaming fans it's just me performing for you keeping you company That's hopefully true. give you good vibes and raising funds to help those who need it the most well in my case Gary, I think that... you won't be able to have your dance moves anymore on on stage <laughs> Oh, he can do it. Well, oh, wait. Hold on, hold on. I, I do been, it. There's an I, answer to this. Wait, lang, Rico, wait. Lang. I've been doing some stuff on the drawing board to see how I can put that in. But, you know, to move my body in front of the camera is one thing. But to move people in their feet is, you know, up to their feet is a different thing. I've seen Leia actually. Yes, folks, Leia can dance. I've seen her moving in my concerts. But there's another thing about moving people's hearts. And I think... That is a, that's a norm that applies to any new norm. And I really think, Rico, that in time, when things go back to the norm, I think people will value the events even more. People will value being with others. People will value the, the moments that they have with artists like, like yours truly and like Leia and Martin. We don't know when that's going to happen, but I'm excited for that time. I'm excited to see how the artists are going to let loose on a stage with the former norm coming back, but in a new, more mm. valued way. And I'm looking forward to that. I have a feeling that it's going to be a very emotional experience for when the artists go back on stage. I think we're all going to mm -hmm. end up bursting into tears before even the first song. <laughs> you know, I'm just, I mean, just thinking about it. Normally I perform with um, ABS-CBN Philharmonic with, with my brother conducting. And I think everybody's gonna end up just crying because all of, because this, this thing that was giving us so much life was, was so right. abruptly taken away. And so when you get it back, it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's gonna feel like while you're being fed after starving for however yeah. many days and there's nothing like live performance. There's yes. nothing like live theater. There's nothing that, the experience is so unique. And it's it's the audience with each other and, and with the performer there. And it's a communication that goes in all different directions. So it's 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 something that I yes. I miss. So I think I think everybody's just gonna break down for like at least 10 minutes from the from the from the first downbeat, and then everyone's just gonna have to try and recover and and you know and get themselves back together and 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 just be able to continue on with the shows. But I think all of us are gonna have, yeah, without exception, I think everyone is going to have a very visceral, emotional, spiritual response to the first day we actually get back on a stage it's 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 yeah we're all we're all gonna lose ourselves you guys it's just gonna be that's just how it's gonna be and and leia gary martin i'm really looking forward to the day when i'll see you back all on stage but this yeah, coming sunday too. there will be a lot of heart a lot of emotion and a lot of giving thank you so much for joining us on the final word leia salonga martin Rivera and Gary Valenciano. More power to you all. And that's the final word this May 1st, Friday. Join us again next week for news you can use, news you can trust. Have a great weekend, everyone. Stay safe, stay home. Good night. I'm Rico Tizon. <laughs>